Parachute, 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 parachute. Pa All right, guys, welcome back. So last time we launched this journey rocket. Now, when I ordered this, I also accidentally bought these motors, which don't fit. They're too big. So I don't want to let them go to waste. So I'm going to try and build my own rocket to launch them instead. How hard can it be? So the first thing I need to do is I make the motor mount. I take a, a rocket motor, wrap some cardboard around it to get a nice snug fit, make a couple of centering rings just to make sure the motor is central in the body of the rocket. I've then made use of an old bottle here, cut a hole in the lid just to make a motor retainer. So I'm going to glue everything in place and then check that everything works and fits correctly. I'm just putting a little stopper here in the back of the motor mount so that when the rocket lights it doesn't just shoot out the top and through the top of the rocket which wouldn't be good. So I'll trim the excess material off from that and then a quick test to make sure everything fits good and we're good to go. So now I'm going to make the top section of the rocket with a nose cone. I'm just going to tack it around the edge first just to make sure everything's lined up correctly and then a nice good bead of glue on the inside to hold it in place and then a little bead around the edge on the outside just to tidy it up. So a quick test fit and it's starting to look like a rocket. I'm going to mount the motor mount now. Plenty of glue on this because I don't want this coming loose at any point during the ascent phase because this would that would not end well. So glue that in place, that's nice and secure. On to the next bit which is mounting the fins. Now I just tack these in place to start with because I want to make sure I've got all the angles correctly before I fully glued them down. Once I was happy with the angles, nice cutting the glue on and they were on. The next thing that I've got to do is I've got to get the rocket back down so I need a parachute. Here's a parachute that I made. Nice and easy, that should do the trick. I'm gonna mount some launch lugs on the side of the rocket. These are to guide it up the launch tube as it ascends. Quickly gonna pause it there because this feels like it's getting quite heavy. So I had a quick look on the internet. Turns out these are second stage motors anyway, but the maximum takeoff weight for these is four ounces. So I'm gonna weigh this and hopefully it's less than that, but it doesn't feel like it is so scales here seven ounces all right so we've got two options here we can either make this lighter which i'm pretty sure we can actually because i've used very thick rope on the parachute so i can get some smaller one for that but that's not going to be enough so the other option is to get a more powerful motor so Okay, so I've just had a quick look, and the next size up from this is a D motor. So I've just ordered two D125 motors. So we'll use them instead. They have a maximum takeoff weight of 10 ounces, so we should be good to go. Let's carry on. So we're gonna mount the shock cord onto the top section of the rocket and onto the main body of the rocket. This, when the ejection charge is fired on the motor, it separates the top and the bottom, and this is just gonna hold them together plus provide a little bit of elasticity so that nothing snags or breaks when it's fired. So good coating of glue on the inside, attach it to the nose cone as well and then the next stage is to attach the parachute to this shock cord and then once that's done the rocket is pretty much set to go. I'm going to do a little test bit of the parachute just to make sure it all fits nice and snug. There we go, perfect. That's it, all done. As you can see, looks quite good actually. The D motors came, I test fitted one, fits fine, no problems there. Um, a little alteration I made, I made this a bit longer because it was a bit wobbly in there, so I thought we'll extend that a bit just to make it a bit more secure. I'm not too sure yet if I'm gonna change the rope on this parachute, but we'll see, I'll let you know if I do or not. So I'm gonna throw some paint on it and then we're gonna go fly it. Let's go. Here we are, out of the launch site, ready to fly another rocket. This one, this is the big one, the homemade one. And I've never made a rocket of my own before, so I don't know how this is gonna go. I kinda hope it goes well, but we'll soon find out. I'm flying it on the most powerful motor I've ever flown on, which isn't saying much, because it's only the second rocket I've ever flown. So we're gonna see what happens. Hopefully the parachute comes out. Hopefully it doesn't blow up into a million pieces on the way up, and hopefully we get it back in one piece. Let's get it ready to fly.
Okay, we're all set up now, prep for launch. I hope this goes well. Let's get into the countdown. So launch in five, four, three, two, one. Oh, it's going well. Come on. Parachute, 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 parachute. Pop, pop. Yes, we've got a shoot. Come on. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. This is going to be an easier recovery, boys. Woo. Oh, I can't believe. I can't believe it worked. I don't know if you can see it on there. It's coming down. There we go. Beautiful. Great success. Wow. This is easy, this. Right, let's go pick it up, make sure it's all good, and it's going well. It's going well. Here we go. All in one piece. Ooh. Singed a bit of the parachute there. Need a bit more exhaust wadding next time then. Actually made a load. And now I left it at home, so that's why I didn't quite have enough. But it did the trick, we got it back. All right, so we got it all back in one piece. Everything looks pretty good. The, uh, the bottle cap actually uh, actually stood really well, I'm impressed. Like I said, some, some scorch marks on this parachute, so this is probably not gonna go again, but I'll make a new one, put some more wadding in next time. And you know what, we'll fly this again. It didn't quite go as high as the other one, but probably because it weighs a bit more, but my god, it was still good. Now, next time, I say next time, it's still a little bit out of breath actually, but I have a habit of ordering the wrong motors and I accidentally ordered some second stage rocket motors, so I think we have to build a two stage rocket. Like and subscribe if you want to see that one. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video, stay tuned if you want to see some more, and check out the previous video where I launched. And Estes journey and I ran literally more than a mile to get it back so go have a look at that have a good day stay safe and peace out